what up what up leo i hope you guys are doing wonderful oh we got a little we got a little hidden cards so leo some of y'all may have been having some type of problem in a partnership because it was stuck in between these cards and i thought i cleared these out but some of you may be having some issues this could even be with a relationship or a business relationship there could be some conflict that coming that is coming out of this now um it is showing that there could be judgments and compassion is needed so some of you if you're having issues within a romantic relationship it may be time for you to compromise if it's a business relationship it may be time for you to compromise or either the person compromise with you leo interesting i love when they put little cards in between because i shuffled this and i thought i got everything out so let me make sure Leo, before we start again, if there's no more messages. All right. I think we're good, Leo. So let's go ahead and see what we have coming in for September 2019. Thank you guys for being so patient with me. I was traveling out and about, and I finally made it back home. I got a spa party to do later on today, so I've been busy, like 100% all over the place. So definitely voodoo what you doing what are you down there chasing all right sorry you guys got a new cat that kind of is hanging out for a little bit not sure how long he's going to stay but his name is voodoo let's see leo 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 for september 2019 what is going on with my leos Definitely feel like you're going to have some conflict that's coming in. Um, Ace of Swords is showing that it could be with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, I see a lot of travel coming in for you guys, too. So I don't know if this conflict is going to have to do with your travel schedule, if it's going to conflict with somebody around you. For some of you, maybe you may have a conversation where somebody is saying that you're moving around too much or you're traveling too much. But I feel for some of you that this is a lot of travel that's going to be coming in. For some, this could be vacations. For some, it could be work. I do feel like um, a few of you may be thinking that you're exhausted or things need to um, slow down. So there could be an issue of either slowing down a travel schedule or for some of you, this could be something going on with a relationship because I'm getting like a third party situation. There may be um, somebody that interferes with your relationship or a partnership that you're dealing with, or this could be you interfering with somebody's relationship or partnership. For a lot of you, I feel like this could be you and this could be wh whether it's a friendship or a romantic relationship. There could be somebody where there's some jealousies that are coming out. So if you're married, you could be dealing with somebody who's jealous. If you're dating, you could be dealing with somebody who's feeling jealous. And if you're having a friendship and there's three or more people involved in it, you could be dealing with somebody who's jealous of your relationship with a person in the friendship, Leo. So I do feel like either there is some miscommunication, you might not be seeing it, but I feel like for some of you, you're definitely going to be dealing with issues of jealousy this month. Some people may literally just kind of get in their feelings. Some of you may not even understand why they're jealous, and I do get a lot of confusion. So either this is a lack of communication, or they see things one way, you see something the other way, or they're just possessive, and they just don't want to um, lose you, Leo. I feel for some of you, you can be thinking about taking a vacation. Now, like I said before, there could be travel where there is travel for business, for making money. Some of you, I feel like you're literally going to be going away on a vacation. You could be walking away from a relationship and saying, I need a little time. But I feel for some of you, you may be wanting to go somewhere by yourself where you're not dealing with other people. I, I just feel like not wanting a connection. Rudy, where are you at so I can move my chair up? Can't move your chair up. Okay. So for some of you, you literally could just be taking a break from people, period. It's like, I don't want to be around you. I don't want to talk to you. I need my space. So, Leos, you definitely could be having this energy around you this month where you want to go into hermit mode. And it's like, I don't want to deal with people. I feel for a few of you, you're taking on some side hustles, maybe some side jobs. Be careful that you're not overextending yourself because I feel for some of you, you're starting to feel stuck, like you're trapped, whether this is in your 
home life where you're around people that you don't want to be around, or this is your work where you're around people you don't want to be around. I feel some of you are going to feel trapped this month. I definitely feel like there's a lot of spiritual growth. There's a lot of new things that are opening up. Um, you're seeing yourself in a different light. Some of you may even be trying a different type of tradition, religion, or spirituality. I feel like there's research, there's reading books, there's taking classes. Um, I just came back from Mesquite, Texas with Mama Star Cassis, and she was doing classes there, and that was travel. So some of you may be traveling in the capacity of a teacher or a mentor. Some of you may be traveling to go take a class. But I feel like whatever it is, some of you are getting with a mentor and you're opening yourselves up to something new because there's major spiritual growth that's coming in. You're going to start seeing things differently, hearing things differently. Some of you, this may even make you question things that you were brought up with. Um, you could be going into a different type of tradition that is a little bit different than what you grew up with. Won't apply to everybody, but for some people, if you're Catholic, I feel like you may be going into Wicca. If you're in Wicca, you might be looking into some type of African-based tradition. If you're in some type of African-based tradition, you may be coming out of that and going back into religion. There's some change that is coming in for a lot of you. And it won't apply to everybody, but for some people, it's almost like they're seeing things differently. And they're switching off their belief systems. Leo, 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 Leo. Let me go ahead and move this down so we can get the shuffle going. Let me see. <clears throat> Excuse me, Leo. So we're going to be using the everyday enchantment tarot. We're going to be using the angel tarot. And then we're going to get a couple of cards from the tough shit tarot to finish off. So for my Leos for September 2019, Leo, September 2019. Some of you may be having problems sleeping at night. This could be stress. This could be too much on your mind. This could be being uncomfortable, but it is showing that some of you are having a hard time getting comfortable um, in your setting, whether this is laying in your bed or just falling asleep. For some of you, I feel like there definitely is feeling like uh, being pulled in too many places. Now, I saw this in the Gemini reading. So some of you could be dealing with a Gemini where either they're telling you that they're feeling overwhelmed or you're telling this Gemini that you're feeling overwhelmed. So there could be some conflict with a Gemini that's coming into your life in um, this month. Leo, 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 September 2019. Definitely getting a lot of travel. All right. So we have Queen of Pentacles. We have the chariot. We have the nine of wands. We have the three of coins. I'm three of cups. I'm sorry. We have the hangman. We have the magician. We have the world. We have ace of cups. We have nine of swords. We have three of swords. We have three of pentacles. We have Queen of Cups, we have Queen of Blades, we have Death, and one more Spirit. We have Eight of Cups. All righty. Now let's see what the Angel Tarot is speaking about. September 2019. September 2019 for Leo. September 20. 19. Leo, Leo, Leo. Thank you, Spirit. So we have two of cups. We have three of wands. We have balance. We have six of swords. We have eight of cups. We have five of cups. We have ten of pentacles. And then we have release. All right. So let's move it up. So Leo, so looking at the cards, I can tell you right now, some of you are going to be having an issue with a air sign person. This could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. That card is showing that you could be having some type of conflict that may end up voodoo. No, 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 no. Why? Somebody sent you over here. 
which one of y'all sent voodoo here just to kind of keep me busy and not let me do any work i know it's one of y'all witches hmm y'all sent a cute little cat that is a not he keeps wanting to sit on my reading table and lay on my cards not letting me work voodoo huh why are you doing it you might as well say hi say hi say hi to everybody say hi i voodoo um all right you got to get down go in your cubby go in your cubby take a nap okay so for some of you there could be some conflict that is going to be coming with an air sign person libra gemini or aquarius and there could be an ending to something not saying necessarily an ending to a relationship but for some of you there could be I definitely feel like there may be some type of miscommunication, but if you look at it, this air sign person is holding a scapula, so they could be really pissed. I do feel like there is some issue where you're feeling like you have to defend yourself or you're trying to defend yourself with this person. And some of you may be coming to the conclusion that you may want to walk away from a situation that is not doing you well. Now, this could be a friendship or a relationship. Because we too, we get the five of cups, something not working out the way you want it to work out. And then we got ace of cups twice, I believe. Let me see, eight of cups. Where is the other one? Yeah. So with eight of cups, we see somebody who could be dealing with some type of depression. Somebody's not happy. They're having a hard time showing up in their life. They're not cleaning their kitchen. They could be overwhelmed. They could be exhausted, but this is somebody that's walking away from a situation. Now, for some of you, this could be your energy because I do feel like there is issues with being tired or exhausted. Some of you, you could be walking away from something because of a third party situation. Like I said, some of you may be losing a friendship. This could be a relationship. For some of you, you could be dealing with somebody who's too possessive, too dominant, too um, controlling, too jealous. They could be doing something where they're making you feel uncomfortable. Now, if this is not the end of that relationship, some of you could be putting the end to the behavior. Like, look, you got to stop treating me this way. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm stressed. You got me worried. I'm going over here with my tissues in my hand. I can't sleep at night. I don't know what's going on with you. And I don't want to do this anymore. So some of you could be having a heart to heart conversation with somebody and telling them, look, I'm tired of feeling this way. We got to do something different for some of you you could be dealing with somebody that is causing you to be depressed maybe they're making you feel uncomfortable in your space for some of you this may be you finding out that somebody you were dealing with was cheating and maybe spirit was trying to tell you <clears throat> in this card we could be dealing because we got a pug here somebody with a dog somebody could be having some issues where they're not sleeping late at night and it could be because of depression maybe not feeling like they're connected. So this could be you, Leo, or this could be somebody that you're dealing with where this person is really having a hard time in their life. They're going through some type of transformation, I feel like. So if you are dealing with somebody that is going through something, you might want to be compassionate. And I think we saw that before. Won't apply to everybody. For some people, this is your energy where you're having a hard time sleeping at night. There's cheating. There's a third party situation that's causing something to be not right. You're having a hard time showing up and you're ready for something to end. It's like, let's come to the end of this and move on. Transformation. We have an older woman and a younger woman, which is showing somebody at the end of their life and somebody at the beginning of their life, which means that this is transformation, starting something new, but it could be coming out of a situation where there's depression and somebody being really unhappy. With this card, with the five of cups, with something turning out not the way you wanted it. And eight of cups, moving on. I wanted something deeper. I'm not getting it, so I need to move on. For some of you, there is travel that's going to be involved with this. Six of swords, some of you could be taking a vacation. Maybe you need some time alone. You need to go into hermit mode and think about what you want to do. But I feel for some of you, if you are walking away from a situation, it could be that you're deciding that you need to even move away. It's like, I want to start something over. So I feel for a few of you that you may be finding love on a trip. You could be meeting somebody while you're traveling. You could be traveling with a lover. But for some of you, it's like you're walking away from a situation that no longer works for you. And it won't apply to everybody. 
for some of you, if you're happily married, you're happily married. If you're in a relationship and it's good, it's good. But for some people, they could be going through a, di a, di a divorce. Oh my God, I sound like my mama. You could be going through a divorce where there was cheating involved and there was pain and you're deciding to move. And within this move and moving forward, you meet somebody else, Leo. For some of you, I do feel like you could be packing things up, getting on the road with the chariot card and the world card. Some of you might be even going on a road trip and meeting new love, or you could be going on a road trip with new love. So Leo, I feel like if you're single, some of you have new love coming in and you could meet them on some type of trip, vacation, road trip. You might be going to an event to support some friends and you meet love. Some of you, I feel like this person could be of a different culture, possibly even a different race. Some of you may be looking to move to a different state or even a different country. And that could be where you make a connection, but it is showing Leo you're moving forward. For some of you with this travel card with the magician, you could be like Mama Star where you could be some type of um, mentor or teacher and you're sharing knowledge and you could be traveling doing that. The Queen of Cups is a hardworking person, somebody who is a workaholic. They don't know when to stop. So some of you literally could be picking up business where you're doing some type of spiritual business where you're traveling. Some of you may even be manifesting a business that you travel. Maybe you want to be a flight attendant or you're selling your products. Um, I do feel with the world card, if you're not actually getting on the road, for a lot of you, this is even some type of increase with your online business. This is people coming in, knowing who you are, find more of your products. And for a lot of you, this is products that you make with your hand. And you're not only doing it locally, but you're also marketing to people of different countries, different races, different cultures. So for some of you, you're going to be expanding your business. And it's going to be major with the Ten of Cups. If you've been having some type of lag that was going on financially, it looks like for some of you, you're making a partnership or making connections where your business is going to grow. I do feel for a lot of you that this is a family business for some. This could be friends and family. So if you are self-employed, I feel like you definitely have some big adjustment that's coming in. It's bringing in money. You're going to be venturing out. If it's a spiritual business and you're doing it, I feel some of you, if you don't already have an online presence, you're going to look into that. You're going to market yourself. For some of you, this could be YouTube, Instagram, um, Facebook, putting yourself out there but making money doing this. This could be off of your spiritual skills and we do see spirit growth. So for a lot of you, whatever this education is that you're picking up things or you're learning new things, you may be using this to bring more money into your life, into your family, to support your family. Some of you could be dealing with a person that's a Taurus, Capricorn or a Virgo that is gonna help you grow. Some of you are definitely dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Some there could be either a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio person in the midst that is helping you grow. I feel for some of you, if you are looking for love, you could be finding a soulmate connection. This could be um, with a water sign, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, for a few of you... I want to say air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Some of you are going to be connecting with people of a different race than you when it comes to your love connection. For some of you, this is even just fellowshipping with people of different races and different cultures, and they're bringing the money in. I'm getting like there's some growth that's coming in with merging with people that are different. So some of you may be breaking bread with somebody and saying, let's go ahead and expand business. Let's make something bigger. Let's, let's grow it and let's bring more money in. And Leo's, it seems that your focus seems to be on money. So for some of you, this is literally you want to grow your business or you want to bring more money in because you're wanting to bring more stability to yourself or to your family. For some of you, it could be because you're going through a divorce and you're like, okay, it's time. I need to get this started. There could be worries about finances and you're like, how do I get to this 10 of pentacles? And for some of you, it's making a connection with a hardworking person that works the way you are or works the, works the way you do. So I feel like two ambitious, two or more ambitious people finding each other and saying, look, let's move something 
let's move something forward because I'm coming out of this energy. And the six of swords is showing for a lot of you, if you've been depressed and dealing with energy that's been stagnant with the eight of cups, you're moving on. You don't want to be stuck that way. Five of Cups is showing something didn't work out the way you wanted it to work. You wanted it to work out, so you're going to move forward. If you were stuck in this hangman situation, the chariot card is coming through and saying that you're going to start moving forward. There's no more stagnation, Leo. Some of you, I feel like you're going to be <clears throat> exhausted. And with me losing my voice, some of you, I feel like you're going to have to address something where it's either you're going to be talking to someone, maybe about something you don't want to talk about. I do see with the three of wands making long-term plans. Some of you could be signing contracts, um, deciding that you're going to work at a place for a while. You're going to set up some type of base. This is having some type of long-term ab abundance coming in. It's because you want it. The release card is showing if there was some issues with depression. We're coming to the end of that. Death is transformation. So if you've been feeling like this person where it's like, I feel unbalanced. Nothing is working for me. I can't clean my house. I don't feel like I'm doing things the way I used to. It is showing that you're going to put an end to that. Death is coming where it's like, I don't want to feel this way anymore. And the renewal card is showing, or I'm sorry, the release card is showing that you're moving forward. You're releasing this energy. Not going to be easy for everybody, Leo. So if you are dealing with depression, it's not an easy fix. And I'm never going to say that. I've dealt with depression before, and it's not something that you just wake up and you're all of a sudden feeling better. Some people suffer from chronic depression, chronic fatigue. So for some of you, you could be really exhausted or you literally could just be depressed. And for some of you, it could be because you're not getting enough sleep. You're not resting well. For a few of you, it could be because of relationship issues. So whether you're having some type of medical issue or something that's keeping you up or you're having some type of relationship issue or problem or drama with people, for some of you, you want to release this energy. You're like ready for it to be gone, to be dead so that you can move forward. And the Six of Swords is showing that you are. You're finding your balance and you're moving from choppy waters to smoother waters. Some of you, this could be signing long-term contracts with work. Some of you, I feel like even though I don't see four wands, I feel like you're, you're signing for a, a home or an apartment. You're signing a lease, something that has some stability to you. Some of you, Leos, may have felt like you've just been beaten up, like you're coming out of something where you're exhausted. I feel like there could have been some gossip. There could have been some people that have been working against you. Some of you, these people want you to fall and you're not giving them the satisfaction. You're limping. You're trying to do whatever you can. Some of you may be having problems with your shoulder hurting. Some of you may be having problems with your legs. Um the Queen of Blades fell next to this. For some of you, there may be some type of surgery that may be needed. So please go to your doctor. If you're having chronic pain in your shoulder or your leg, you may need to go ahead and go get that checked out. It looks like with this doctor there, there may be something that needs to be done or can be done to help that situation better. Let's see, Leos. I definitely feel that if you are in a relationship that has not been working with the Eight of Cups, twice you're moving on you're moving on you're walking away from something and you're walking towards new love some of you could be a magician where you're doing love work or you're doing spell work to bring love into your heart or somebody could be drawing you towards them but it is showing that there is some some growth that is coming when it comes to love like making a connection with someone some of you, I feel like um, if you have children, there may be more conversations that need to be had. And this could be, I don't know, the beginning of the school year, but we have this child and Spirit kind of pointed that out to me and she's talking to her mom. So for some of you, you may have a child that is very excited about changes that are happening in their life and they want to share this with you. They could be very sensitive. They could be very, they could be an empath. Um, you may have a very sensitive child that wants to share things with you. Be open to it, Leo, because I feel for some of you that they're going to be coming to you and they want to share things and it's exciting to them. So if you have been really busy, especially if you've been traveling a lot, you want to give a lot more. You might want to give some time, a little bit more time to your, to your child. 
I do see this could be somebody coming to you and then talking to you about either business or projects. So if they're in school, this could be like, I need your help with some type of project. So for some of you, whether you're a male or a female, you may have a child that comes to you and says, I need your attention. You're working a lot. I have a project that's due. For some of you, this person could be saying, I want to expand my business, but I need your help. Or this could be you going to a parent figure and you telling them that. Or some of you may be talking to somebody that is like a child to you. Maybe they're not your biological child, but you could be saying, look, I want to expand business. This is what we need to do. This is what we need to look into. Because I see working together. And for some of you, this is working together as a family. So for some of you, whether this is your biological family, you could be expanding a business with people in your life, friends or people that you see that are family. For some of you, this could be a spiritual business. The magician is also telling me with this nine of wands, watch your back, Leos. Watch your back. You got somebody shady and sneaky that could be trying to do you in. I feel like they may have already beaten you down a little bit. They might be trying to do some stuff to you. I think they're, they're, they could be digging your grave. I think he's trying to act like he's planting something, but I don't see anything in that pot that he could be planting. Could be seeds in there, but we got the snake that's kind of going over that. So you could be dealing with somebody who's thinking they do, they're doing you in. But they don't realize that you're still standing. They beat you up, and I think they're waiting for you to fall. But I don't feel like you're going to fall, Leo. I don't feel like you're going to fall. I think you're dealing with people that may want you to, whether this is a relationship, a spouse, an ex, people that you're dealing with that are gossiping about you in the community. They are beating you up. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that's being said behind your back, and they're waiting for you to fall. Or either this is somebody trying to make things really, really hard on you. They could be even attacking you physically. Some of you could be in an abusive relationship with somebody who met, they're not only verbally abusive, but they may be becoming physically abusive. If this is spell work, you could have somebody that's trying to do something to your body to keep you from moving forward. And they feel like maybe you could be down for the kill, but I don't see you falling, Leo. I do not. There's still some some um, determination in this person's face. All these people are looking at them and they're poking at them, laughing at this person, trying to really frustrate and irritate them, trying to get them to fall. But this person is is not giving into it, Leo. So I feel like you're coming, you're standing in your strength. If you're dealing with people that are coming against you, you're standing in your strength. And for a lot of you, you're gonna win. You are gonna win. You could be definitely dealing with somebody that's dealing with depression, whether this is you or somebody else, Leo. So pay attention to your friends. For some of you with this magician, you might want to look at the people you're dealing with anyway, because some of them may not be friends. Especially if you look at all the faces on this, this could be one, two, three. Let's see, we got two men, we got two white men, we got a black man, and we got a woman. So some of y'all literally could be dealing with this group of people. So pay attention to your friend circle because this could apply to you, Leo. For some reason, I feel like Leo is going to take this crutch and knock the shit out of that man in the green. I don't know why, but I feel like the way he's looking at him, he's like, are you touching me, bitch? I think he's fixing to knock the shit out. It's either he or she. Whether you, Whatever you identify with, you're fixing to knock the shit out of somebody, Leo. And it could be because they're poking at you. Won't apply to everybody, but for some, it will. For some of you, I definitely feel like you're going to be growing. Whether this is in a company, I feel like this is working a project together and getting some additional money. That could be what Ten of Pentacles is, bringing in really good money. So you could be working for a company and they're giving you more leeway with what you want to do. And you're working with a team of people and you're going to move towards working money. For some of you, this is literally starting your business, could be a family business, working with a team of people and growing it. Some of you may already be in business, but you want to expand, but it's showing with the Ten of Pentacles, Leo, y'all are moving towards your money. Whatever wasn't working with you with this Five of Cups, it's okay because you're moving towards this. You're coming from a place of disappointment and lack to a place where you feel like you have some type of stability. And the balance card is showing it's not just about money, but it's just a balance of energy and money. So if you've been feeling a little bit off, Leo, I feel like you're going to find your balance. 
And for those that have been struggling with money, you have opportunity, whether this is you starting something yourself or you moving forward in a company, there's opportunity to make some money. And it looks like to make really good money, Leo. Some of you, I feel like with the world card, this is traveling, making money. Some of this could even be getting an internet business or either some social media business on where you're pulling in more financial gain. So tough shit tarot for Leo. Two card spirit. Leo, 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 Leo. Tough shit tarot for Leo. What we got? All right. You've been caught in a battle of blame and self-victimization that is keeping you stuck. Learn to accept, forgive, make mistakes in order to feel a sense of freedom you've been longing for. Oh, forgive your mistakes. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm reading too fast. I had a cup of coffee before you. Basically, this is saying, Leo, that some of you have been caught in a situation where other people are blaming you for their shortcomings. It's your fault. Some of you could be dealing with narcissistic people that are like, you know what? Everything that's happening is because of you. Everything that you're doing is because of you. And that goes back to that person that could be jealous and possessive not wanting you to outgrow them, not wanting you to get bigger than them. And that's their insecurity. But some of you could be letting this person kind of um, transfer their insecurity onto you and make you feel some kind of way. And it could be keeping you trapped. You feel so bad. I can't hurt you. I can't walk away because it was my fault. I did do this to you, but it may not be Leo. This person is transferring their guilt onto you and they're trying to make a victim out of you. Now, this is Leo's. This is not going to happen with everybody. Leo's, a lot of Leo's that I know would not even entertain this. It's, it goes against their character. Like you're trying to make me a victim, a Leo, a lion, a fire sign. But I feel like some of you, because of cheating or um, just conflict with a person, they've kind of beaten you down. You're exhausted. You're tired. And some of you might just be like, whatever, 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 whatever. Just leave me the fuck alone. But I do feel like for some of you, you're coming out of this energy where you're like, no, it's not my problem. It's your problem. All right. You're in a messy situation and you're in deep. It's only going to get worse from here. So count your losses and change directions. Tuck and roll. Which means for some of you, you could be trying to lead a horse to water that doesn't want to drink. You could be, what is that? Beating a dead horse to try to get it to come back up. It doesn't want to. Some of you are going to be dealing with people. If you're dealing with people that are depressed, they don't want to move forward. They're hitting a, 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 a brick wall. They don't want to do anything differently. Instead of wasting your energy on this person, spirit is saying you need to back away, focus on something else and let these people figure this out for themselves. Because it literally is it's saying that you're taking out other people's fights that don't have an outcome because the person hasn't made a decision to move forward. So if you are picking up the pace for somebody else. Make sure that this is what they want and that they're open to changing too. If not, you're beating a dead horse. You're helping somebody who does not want to be helped. And it's showing that it could get messy. It could end up causing problems for you in the long run because this person does not want to change. You can't save somebody who doesn't want to be saved, Leo. These are the cards. If you're dealing with somebody who has an energy and they want to stay stuck, you got to let them stay stuck until they figure out that they want to move forward or else you're just going to expand energy that you don't have and it's going to be a waste of time. All right, Leos, I hope that helps. I love you guys much.